Well, a war of words has broken out in the race for Jefferson Parish Sheriff, and it's all after an internal JPSO report reveals contradictory statements from Sheriff Joe Lapinto. Now that has his contender, former JPSO Colonel John Fortunato, calling him a, quote, deceitful politician. Danny Monteverdi explains. It was in this Elmwood coffee shop back in October where former JPSO Colonel John Fortunato met with two of his colleagues. The content of the conversation was about football and family and, and everything you can, a genre of different conversations. Including changes Fortunato says he would make to the JPSO if elected. And the coffee shop was the same place where deputies would later show up to get a surveillance tape of that meeting. When our partners at the New Orleans Advocate broke that story, interim JPSO Sheriff Joe Lapinto said he didn't order that activity and would discipline the deputies involved. Now, after the Advocate obtained an internal JPSO report, it seems Lapinto did ask deputies to track down a copy of that tape. And that revelation has Fortunato fuming. I think it's absolutely horrendous that he would throw his officers under the bus for his own personal gain. Lapinto tried to downplay the news. I didn't order surveillance. No, there was no surveillance. I had a friend that knew about the meeting and asked, said, would you like me to go get a copy? Sure, go get a copy. It's not a big deal. That, that's legal in any, any case of the world. But the internal report says Lapinto called Chief Deputy Tim Scanlon after he heard about the coffee house meeting and said he wanted a copy of the footage, something he says is no big deal. I still haven't seen the video because I don't need to see a video. I can care less. Fortunato says Lapinto's claim that he hasn't seen the video doesn't matter. That's insignificant, Sheriff. What's important here is that you lied. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Now, earlier today, Lapinto's campaign released the results of a new poll that show him leading 45% to 38% with 17% undecided. That's a change from earlier polls that had Fortunato out in front. We should note Lapinto's poll was done by Ron Fauche, an Eyewitness News political analyst.